What's up, guys? This is Fed 3x3 in the Fed 3x3 Forecast Podcast. I'm your host, and of course, I'm Fed 3x3. With me today is uh, Human Tsunami. I always forget your name. Oh my gosh, hello. <laughs> Mouse hello. Rabies. Hello. And Mar 100. What's up? And you got okay, so you guys want to know something funny before we start? <clears throat> sure. There's a huge nuke in front of me. What do you mean? There's a nuke in front of me. And when I say there's a nuke, it's the Fallout Anthology. Oh. <laughs> My little brother got the Fallout Anthology. And it's right in front of me. It looks pretty damn cool. You mean the one that has, like, Fallout 1, 2, Brother of Steel? I mean, uh, Tactics and 3, or whatever? Basically all of them, yeah. All uh, of them up to this point. All the official ones, anyway. The official ones, not the spinoffs. Um, but yeah, um couple of uh, celebrity announcements. Celebrities? Yes, because I found out this morning, Summer Glau will be at Kamikaze. And oh, cool. if you don't know what Kamikaze is, Kamikaze <laughs> is a comic book convention done by Stanley. Right, Mario 100? It's Stanley's convention, right? Yeah. yeah okay, it's the it's, it's a comic book convention. It's a comic book convention with St- uh, made by Stanley with Hulu. And Summer Glau is going to be there. Summer Glau, if you don't know, is is popular for being in Firefly, Arrow Season 2, uh, The Terminator and Terminator Sarah Connor Chronicles, and other stuff. And also, if you plan on going to Kamikaze, look out for an Asian with a camera interviewing cosplayers, for that is one of the members of Bros. Before Pros. And hey, also look out I'm, for I'm a sure few more I'm, of us. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of Asian guys with cameras. Ah, you're right. Just okay, saying. um, look out for... <laughs> An Asian guy with glasses and a camera. Oh my gosh! In a school uniform. In a school uniform. A girl. A Japanese school uniform. school uniform. He's a. He's about twenty three, twenty four. What the heck? Um. Looks. Possibly has age. a beard. Yeah, he's got a little stubble, and uh, poofy hair, kind of, kind of poofy hair. But yeah, look out for Bros Before Pros at Kamikaze, and also Paul Aiding has been confirmed to come out in Fallout Four. I don't know why, but I felt like I wanted to share that. Okay, without further ado, um, before again, before we start, Human Tsunami and Mouse Rabies, tell us a little bit about the League of Legends tournaments that are going on. For it, I'm not really paying attention, but it sounds interesting. <laughs> okay, I only well, started just yesterday. Yeah. Well, who do you want to start? Do you want to do it, Kavi, or do you want me to do it? You go do it. I just only sharing for one thing. Okay. So. Currently, it is the League of Legends World Championship for Season 5. It just started yesterday, and this is, I think, the most notable tournament so far because there are so many strong teams. You can't really just say the Koreans are going to win. I mean, it's probable, it's highly probable that they will win, but it's also highly probable that they won't win because China, China re- Chinese region is good. Um, the European the Koreans region, are going to win. Uh. Well, Kareem, the Korean <laughs> team has also just gotten beat, beat by other teams already. I mean, they literally got him beat up. Like, uh, for the flag, the Flash Wolves, they beat. Well, we're getting to Pacific. Shut up, Fernando. You didn't even know what he's talking about. It's <laughs> 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 pretty what I was saying. Pretty much uh, all regions are strong, except NA. NA is kind of weak. But, <laughs> um, but yeah, it's pretty Ooh. interesting. I mean,. Each one has different teams, and it's an explosive game. And I, uh, and I should say, you should all watch it. As for who I'm rooting for, um, so far, Cloud9 has shown to be the best team out of NA, so I'm pretty happy about them. Um, Even though you just said that NA is pretty weak. It is pretty weak. It is pretty weak, when only one team of the three teams is actually doing pretty good. Granted, we've only seen one game from Cloud9, but granted, that was an extremely clean and smooth game. Uh, yeah, it was pretty good. TSM lost, and uh, okay, TSM is interesting because they played their game, their beginning of the game, really good, but then a lot of stupid little mistakes kept catching up to them, and they they died because they fucked up. And then COG just takes way too fucking long to close out games. They can't finish their games, so I don't know. The, the second one was better than the first one, but we'll see how it goes. Anyways, the European teams are pretty good. Fnatic had a Fnatic game. If you don't know what that means, pretty much they played it by the numbers. Smooth game. It could have been smoother, not smoother as they're they used to playing it, but they definitely have the potential to just fix those, those mistakes that they have. Origin also had a really good game. 
Who did they play against? Um, who did Origin play against? Do you remember, Kavi? I don't remember. Mm, H2K? No, no, not H2K. God damn it. Uh, anyways, all the teams are good. Yeah. That's, yeah. yeah. We can go on for hours like this, so we can just keep on going with the podcast. <laughs> okay, well, as long as we get... Uh, well, I'm going for Fnatic, chunk. by the way. Yeah, Fnatic's good. And Origin played against LGD. There you go. LGD is like one of the most strong, the strongest teams of um, uh, of China, and they're eight, like they have they have some world champions champions from the last one, and they got beat by Origin. It was pretty interesting. Anyway, okay, yeah, okay, 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 yeah. okay, 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 keep going. <sighs> okay, well, um, that was fun. Okay, and uh, let me see my schedule really quick. We're going to start off with the media, and with the media, we have comic books, movies, TV shows, and all that good stuff. So I thought um, we were talking about politics. <laughs> Wait, we're going to cover all that? No, <laughs> I'm just playing. I just, I just, I put it in one section because oh I, my felt, gosh. I okay. felt like there wasn't, there wasn't too much, but I put a lot of time for it. So we're all good. We're all good. Oh my, okay. You the host. You the host. So, you do, you do. Mm-hmm. We're, we're good, we're good. But yeah, um, for uh, I'm gonna start off with saying, Gotham, the uh, the DC TV for the DC TV shows. Um, oh, I still need Goth- to watch that. Gotham is going to show its third episode next week. Arrow and the Flash will actually be starting, I believe, this week, this coming week, on uh, Tuesdays and Wednesdays, and also iZombie will be beginning. They will all be beginning their new seasons. Arrow season four, Flash season two, I Zombie season two, and also I think the Heroes Reborn uh, Heroes Thursdays. Re- Heroes Reborn Thursdays. Supergirl. Last man, be- uh, Last man on Earth just started season two. Okay, Fear the Walking Dead season finale will be this season Sunday. Finale. Yeah, the season finale. It was only six episodes. The heck. Yeah, Fear the Walking Dead will be on the episodes. Um, episode six will be on the Sunday, and the strain. Episode 13, final episode of Season 2, will be this Sunday also. Look forward to that. Um, if you watch these shows, you probably already know this, but I'm just telling you, just in case for those few who, I don't know, kind of lost track of time or something. I tried watching um, Gotham. Did you like it? No, it was boring. But that's Aww. just my personal opinion. It seems it, like it seems well done, but I just couldn't get into it. Okay. It was good. The only thing that bothered me was the season finale. <laughs> no, I, I think for me, what happened, I was, I was like, I was just waiting for for Gordon right to do something badass in the first episode, but he didn't do anything badass. I'm like, oh, oh, and it was sad, and I, I just lost interest. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, my phone's on. Damn it. Uh. Wait, there's more TV shows though. There's a lot more. Yeah. Oh yeah, there is. Like, there's like, screen. Have you guys watched that new TV show um, on ABC, uh, uh, Quantico? I thought uh, you were going to say Muppets. No, no Muppets. <laughs> I don't watch Muppets. I, I saw the Muppets. You saw Muppets? What do you think of it? Really sexual. Really? Yeah. Oh. A lot of sexual in the windows. Oh. But yeah, um, Quantico. Have any of you guys watched that? Watched it's no. Ba- uh, it's ba- basically like, I, I, I know the premise of it, it's just... It's, pretty I, much, it's in my to-do list. It's pretty much like uh, an FBI is an explosion, and one of the FBI agents is actually a terrorist. It's pretty interesting. Some of them are pretty stupid. Some, some I have a feeling it's going to go down the stupid route. I don't know. We'll see. And then there's also Grey's Anatomy, which also just started, but I haven't watched a single episode because I keep for I keep telling me, okay, go to okay at eight, I'm going to watch it. And then something happens. Like yesterday, I was going to watch it, but I got distracted because of League of Legends. Oh my. So, I haven't been able to watch it, so I have no idea what the hell's going on. It makes me kind of sad. <laughs> Alright. Um, there was also, um, that, there's also that Minority Report showing on, uh, show going on. Is that and, the one uh, with the tattoos, or? Yeah, the, the girl with the tattoos. Yeah, yeah, I think that's the one. The one with the girls and the tattoos. And then I just found out yesterday that, um, Fez from That 70s Show is in that show. Which is pretty cool. Really? Yeah, he is. Um, Wilder Vol... I forget his name. But yeah. Oh, and I'm actually reading this right now. This is kind of cool. Everyone knows how John Bernthal is going to play the Punisher in the... Daredevil. In the, yeah, in Daredevil. No. Yeah. Um, John, John Bernthal, he actually... Uh, Shane in The Walking Dead, in case you don't know. 
uh, he he actually said that his Punisher would not be able to compete, uh, uh, would destroy uh, Norman Reedus's Punisher from the Iron Man Rise of Technovore movie, because because um, Norman Reedus, aka Daryl Dixon from Walking Dead, also played the Punisher in the um, Iron Man Rise of Technovore anime movie. And I just think it's kind of cool that he actually commented on that because there's two Walking Dead actors who play Punisher. I mean, but it's a cart. It's a, a animation versus live action. Yeah. Of course, it's gonna be. It's yeah. Like different. I mean, yeah, like, it, it is. Live action, it is. like don't get me wrong with anime, right? And everything that like, you still need mm-hmm. like like some voice, and some people are good at voice doing voiceovers, but they are terrible. But when you get to live action, there's also the acting factor that comes in. So I think him saying that mm-hmm. is completely like. Like you can't compare. Pointless. It. Pointless. Yeah, it's pointless. Yeah, I see what you're getting at. I honestly, I just think he did it just because they were both Walking Dead actors. I think that's just all. Just for it the really lols. Was. Yeah, just for the lols. Cause uh, look at me, I, I think it's kind of giddy. Giddy. <laughs> yeah, kind of giddy and fun. Um. Oh. Uh, also, has anybody here watched Scream Queens? Nope. Uh, I want to since they got the highest. Uh, ratings in the for the premiere openings okay for the fall premiere openings because um i really want to see it yeah i heard it's doing actually really really good surprisingly and plus also i it's college girls it's no more a, no no high schoolers yeah no more college high girls that's college sounds, girls killing each other call me a creep but that sounds freaking hot the show sounds freaking hot plus ariana grande's in it <laughs> it sounds like a freaking. It sounds. It sounds good, basically. Oh, yeah, but they're all gonna die though. So I'm thinking. So I remember I think seeing gonna... this movie thing. It looks movie dumb thing. Fuck. Yeah, I saw a commercial for it. It looks stupid. Apparently, it's doing really well. Mm-hmm. By the yeah. ratings. At least the at least the first episode, right? Or did or so far it's doing well altogether. So far. Oh, okay, that's good. By all the right. ratings. Um. In the what else is there? Um, oh, uh, also in other Walking Dead news, they have confirmed the actor of Jesus. What? Now Jesus. Okay, all right. Uh, hold is on. Gonna be Sledge Raid. <laughs> nah, he cut his hair. He did. Okay. Oh, but done. um, but uh, for those of us um who read the Walking Dead comics. Jesus, everyone knows, is one of the is like one of the most badass characters. And uh, they, for you guys over here in the podcast, the reason they call him Jesus is the nickname. It's because of his long hair and his long beard. He looks like Jesus Christ. Um, oh. But uh, they they confirmed his. Uh, people saw a character who, in in a leaked photo on the set, who looked like him. And then uh, the day later, they confirmed they confirmed Jesus will be coming out in season six of Walking Dead. And they confirmed his actor's name. I don't remember his name, but they put it. Some people are complaining because he looks too young. I can see why, but I'm just going to wait till the show comes out to see. In the picture with him in the beard, he looked good. So, hey. Also, um, there's also strong uh, rumors that Negan will be appearing at some point of Season 6 in The Walking Dead. And again... For the comic readers, Negan is the antagonist of the All Out War section. He's basically this tough, disgusting, manly, huge, psychopathic sociopath um, who just like he owns all the towns, the little communities, and he's just a horrible, horrible leader. So Rick and the group try to take him down, and I'm not gonna say any spoilers, but yeah. Uh, Negan might be coming out sooner than we think, even though I feel like he shouldn't come out till season seven. But now eh, we'll see how the show developers go from there. Um, any news? Any other news on you guys' part? Um, you know the my, they're bringing back the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers back for a reboot. Coming, the, mo- the movie, right? I think the movie, or they're going to make another TV show. Oh, all right. Coming uh, January twenty sixteen. I haven't really looked into it, but like. More Fire Rangers. The original Fire Rangers. Not the original cast, because not all the cast is there, but uh, old school 
uh, in high school fighting monsters. Never gets old. Never gets old. Uh, the the um the the stuff that comes out when they slash each other, the explosions. Yes. Never gets. Explosions. HBO is looking to hopefully make a series, a Watchmen series. Really? Ooh, I would give it to them. Do it. But they I feel like they would do a good. They haven't have, uh, made a deal, but they're just eyeing it right now. I still need to watch the Watchmen. Then there's me too. Doctor Ken. Oh, the Asian doctor. Yeah. Another Asian family TV show. That's the second one after oh, Fresh yeah. Off the Boat. There was a yeah that yeah, one. Yeah, which is... just started the second season too. Oh, so it did well. I thought it got canceled, but apparently it got a second season. Fuck it. Is is he a real doctor? Uh, no, just an actor. So he does act well then. He acts well for a doctor, and it helps with the stereotype. <laughs> the funny thing is, his wife uh, in the show is a doctor as well. So her both last names are Doctor Ken. <laughs> That's funny. I might watch it. I don't watch did, much TV shows. Did we um? Did we mention um? The the the, those Harry Potter plays that are coming out in the last podcast. Yeah, do you remember? Do you remember how you told me that Harry Potter was coming back? It is coming back. Yeah, well, I found out that it's coming back through two plays in London or something. Stupid airplane. Uh, Maybe I should go visit my cousin in London then. (laughs) Yeah, because they're making it's called Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Oh. Yeah, that it's gonna be a play. You know we do. We should not do. a movie. I yeah. thought it was a Guys, book. Hey, everybody. What? You know what we should all do. I don't have the money. We should go visit the Queen of England. Oh, you With know who? Uh, oh, you seen his videos? <laughs> no, I haven't. I just heard it. Oh know. my gosh! We watch his videos. Uh, Manny uh, slash YouTube dot com. Uh, he's uh he's hanging out with the Queen of England right now. Like it's something it's serious right now. I'm interested. Let me YouTube this. <laughs> These things are really serious right now. Him, him and the Queen of England. This has got to be good. Everyone watch Manny's videos. He's hilarious. He's great. And if you all don't remember him, he was with us for a few Five Nights at Freddy's vids. Queen of England right there. No taxation right. without representation. Mm-hmm. Oh, um, <laughs> another news. Uh, I guess in the movie verse... Uh, they revealed uh, Marvel Studios revealed the age of Spider-Man and it's uh, basically the role Spider-Man is going to play in the uh, MCU so he, he's going to be in high school around 15 or 16 nice so he's not going to be like really old and he's already going to have his powers so it's going to be have his powers after Age of Ultron well no during Age of Ultron then he's going to find out they're gonna find him at some war, but with a costume, with not not with the iconic costume, but with like a makeshift costume that he made like in the fly. All right, and he's gonna have a bigger role apparently in the later movies. What the fuck? And also, uh, did you hear about Hugh Jackman's supposedly replacement? Yes, Tom Hardy. I hear it's it's very it's a very strong rumor. I hear it's like practically confirmed. I I don't know. I don't what agree. do you think? I don't agree with it. You don't agree? Nah. I'm actually interested. Jack is always Wolverine. <laughs> so no but one, he's, everyone he's, else is weird. He's getting old though. Old man Wolverine then. But then after that, dead man Wolverine. <laughs> <laughs> no more Wolverine. No more live action. Yeah. What about it? What about if they finally get Wolverine for the MCU? What about then? Then it's never complete because they never had. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Quick question: Is anybody keeping track of time? Because I was a few minutes off. I don't know. Uh, well, I've been recording for twenty minutes already. That helps. Fine. Okay. All right. That kind of helps. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Uh, right. Also. Um, uh, do you, did you guys hear about the live action uh, casting for Death Note? I was actually about to mention that, but go ahead, go nuts. So Nat Wolf, uh, 
I think he was part of the Naked Brothers band or something. Really? He's gonna be Light Yagami. Yeah, I heard that he comes out in both. Um, per, uh, the he came out in both um, A Fallen Our Stars and the the Paper Town movie. Is he the main character? I think he's the main guy in. If both. that's gonna be Light Yagami. Yeah. Oh my gosh, no. It's it's um it's interesting. Better if it take a potato chip and eat it. It's interesting. Very interesting. Do you agree right. with it though? I don't know. It being an American ad- adaption, period. I'm just kind of like I'm not even caring or trying to care because it just I don't know. I I'm not a fan of um most live action projects like that. And the then, only, actually, you know what? Um, you know what that actually reminds me. Well, actually, finish finish what you're gonna say, and then I'll tell you. Oh, well, they're gonna do that too with Ghost in the Shell. Yeah, I think Ghost in the Shell will be okay. Death Note, I think, will be like bad or decent. I don't. I say don't. Like do Dragon it. Ball Evolution. No, Dragon Ball Evolution was shit. Um, uh, I think that, uh, the last I think Airbender. Death Note. Death Note was Death Note is main, mainly about like police. So I think we could do a decent adaption, but I don't think it's going to be anything that special. Um, what you call it? But Ghost in the Shell is very like you know uh, like special what? forces, uh, agents, shooting guns, guns, all that good stuff, robots. That's very like American. So I feel like a Ghost in the Shell movie will actually work out. It can work out pretty damn good. Yeah, but not a lot of people agree with the casting. Yeah, but... Come on, you know they're not going to be Japanese. I don't know why they're complaining. This is an American adaptation. We actually talked about this on, like, a few, few, few podcasts ago. I know. But, yeah. Um, I don't know. Uh, you know what? I hope I hope the Death Note movie changes my mind. That's all I can really say. I can't... I'm not going to say their casting choice is bad, but I'm not going to say he's good either because I don't know him. And honestly, I just don't really want a Death Note movie. Uh, who, here, who here's watched Death Note? I have. I've seen it. I've seen it. You missed it. Just leave it, leave it alone. Uh, uh, I know what the plot is, but I've never bothered to watch it. Okay, just checking. All right. Um, oh, I was also going to say, you know what? You know what? Uh, um, somebody said that. What they wanted to see Christopher Nolan do, uh, I actually know. I thought it was a really, really awesome idea. So, uh, I don't remember who said it, but um, it was on a the news. They were like, they think a trilogy of Akira movies made by Christopher Nolan would be amazing. Isn't and that I, isn't that like planned, or is it just talked about right now? They are making a movie, but it's not by Christopher Nolan. I know that. I know that for sure. Um, and, uh, but me personally, I just want to say, holy shit, I do kind of feel like that would be a fucking amazing idea. <laughs> Christopher Nolan with Akira. I still need to watch yeah. Akira. It's a good, um, it's a pretty damn good movie. Manga's better, by the way. Just saying. Movie but- gets a lot of recognition, but the manga is actually really fucking good. Whatever. The only thing that's putting me off is those blue people. That's it. What happened? It's just those. Smurf looking anime people. <laughs> oh yeah, the little the older like the eighty eighty year looking kids. Yeah. Eighty years old looking kids. It's putting it's putting me off. <laughs> Smurf people. They're blue skinned. What? They, they 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 have blue skin and they all the size of kids and they look like kids but they're like they're they're actually like really wrinkly and they're like years, years, years old. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Very, very, very interesting. Okay. Um. Uh. Time wise, we're probably at like twenty four. We can go for a bit more. Yeah. Um. Anything else? Any anything else, people? Um. Uh, media, right? Hmm. Uh. Yeah. Media. Okay. I get, I don't know if this counts as media, but I I find it interesting. Uh. uh. So the Martian came out. Uh, I think it's uh, opening today, and I read the it book. It opened last night. Yeah, it opened last night. Uh, speaking of the Martian, uh, they found liquid liquid water at the Mars's surface. Yeah, that's gonna be very cool. 
I hope they get launch, launch a Mars mission within our lifeline. Lifeline? Timeline? No. Was our... In our generation. Yeah. And it's just like... Because uh, reading the Martian, like, uh, finding this news out uh, later on, like... It's just uh, freaking crazy how things are changing and like because I know the surface of Mars is really cold and like actually finding liquid water at the surface not freezing to the point like dang it's crazy plus uh, if you guys don't know and um, uh, the red moon happened a few uh, days ago did any of you guys see it? you know I was actually keeping an eye on it and I went out like three times and it was it wasn't really I wasn't really getting anything I got fog I got clouds in my uh, distance. You did? Yeah, I didn't get anything. Yeah. Yeah, it was red for a while, but then like it wasn't as like it wasn't really anything that different. Yes. I missed it was out. Blood blood will be shed that day. Did we get superpowers? I don't think so. I mean God damn it. No one no one knows the Lord of the Ring reference. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I still need to watch This is my to do list. Because somebody's lagging it. And when you mean lagging it, do you mean going to your house, sitting down on your couch, and watching movies with you? Yeah. So what? <laughs> oh, you jerks. <laughs> okay. Um, just because right now you're just lazing around and not watching the movie. Or you could just be at his house just lazing around while watching the movie. Hmm. You yeah. got me there. You got me there. How many times have you seen Pulp Fiction? Or hey, Reservoir I'm, Dogs. Shut the hell up. <laughs> how many times? Tell me shut how many the, times you watched it. Shut the hell up. I've only seen it three or four times. Three or four times. Okay. Yes, that movie's amazing. Sure. Tarantino movies are fucking amazing. There is a reason they are so popular. <laughs> I was actually watching uh, Kill Bill the other day. Oh my god. <laughs> and Pulp Fiction. God, those. I repeat so many lines in my head at work from those movies. I was watching the hamburger scene from Pulp Fiction like 20 times the other day. Okay, I gotta stop. Um, okay, uh, let's move on to the personal question. Already? Yep, it's uh, it's in the middle. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. We're already at 20-something minutes. About 20... Yeah. Um... Okay, uh, I got this idea because um, me and Infant Facelift were listening to some Nintendo music. Uh, really, like, they, somebody set up these playlists on YouTube. It's, like, the most, like, relaxing uh, Nintendo music from, like, different Nintendo games. So, really easy. What is some of you guys' uh, favorite Nintendo music? And, like, from a, from a specific Nintendo series. Also, if you can pick. Or you could pick different tracks, too. Doesn't matter. Different track? Yeah. This one should be good for you, Mario 100, because you're our Nintendo head. Okay. Yeah, but I know all of us have played at least a little to a decent amount of Nintendo. Let's see. Okay, I got one. Wait. Okay, what is it? Oh, I go first? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, snaps. Okay. Um, Nint so it could be, uh, it has to be a Nintendo, uh, Series uh, like it does have to be exclusive to Nintendo or? Um, what do you mean? Like, he means it means it has, has to be, be like third party or first party. Uh, oh, or does it have to be on the Nintendo console? Um, as long as it's uh, third party's fine. Third party's fine. Yeah. All right. Um, third party. Uh, the track that I really liked. It's a uh, wonderful one on one because uh, it sounds very very heroic, uh, especially in the beginning with the uh, Russian uh, singers in the background. Like, oh, I'm doing this. I'm a hero. I'm gonna get through this. Oh no, wait, wait. And Xenoblade, <laughs> freaking loved their tracks in that game. Ever since we started playing that, oh my gosh, I want to get a oh, full track list. I was expecting you to play uh, pick all the Pokemon series. Well, they're, they're uh, nostalgic, but like uh, I really like the tracks from uh, uh, Wonderful One One and Xenoblade, just because of the namesake of uh, how it brings out uh, 
the feel when I era play. Alright. Alright, that's mine. Okay. Uh, mouse babies? DDR. <laughs> Just play. Oh, snap. I, I think I would pick the... Um, it's not exactly music, but the soundtrack of the game fits with the theme of of the whole entire series. Is uh, the original Super Metroid. Oh my oh, god! Nice. Yeah, is it wasn't really that uh, upbeat music that one would expect, but it does fit with the atmosphere of what Super Metroid was trying to get through. That you're feeling like all alone within the whole planet, especially when you face off a boss. It does. Like ramp up, like how big they are compared to um, Samus is, especially the Mother Brain. That was creepy as fuck. <laughs> like, like fighting against a monster with a chicken leg, chicken body, and a human brain just uh, it brings chills to my bone. A chicken walks while thinking. That's while shooting rainbow else. beam at you. <laughs> oh my gosh, rainbows forever. Fear my rainbow blast. <laughs> All right. Okay. Is that it for you, Mouse Service? Yeah. All right. Um. Uh, Human Tsunami. I forgot your name again. Uh, how about you? Nothing. You he don't got nothing. No, I don't. I don't play many. Nintendo. I think I'm everybody. I'm the one who plays the least Nintendo games here. Oh, what well, I would think you'd have something. Well, I mean, I don't remember the music though. I mean, I don't pay much attention to that. Like. I can I you can you play for us with your mouth? Oh my god, that's the last like, little game I played. It was Twilight Princess, like over like a year and a half ago. Like I have a Wii with like the Twilight Princess Skyward Sword, but I haven't played them in such a long time. There's a really good track in Twilight Princess. I'm just saying that right now. <laughs> uh, there is. It's like Twilight Princess has some good music, but I just don't remember. Ah, oh, sorry. Right. I just say do 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 there. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Fine. That's Fuck it. Beautiful. RuPaul okay. Diva Jiggly at 9:30 p.m. Drag show. 18 plus. Dance club all night. Win a hundred dollars. Wet undies contest. Hot go. Oh, I'm sorry. What um, kind of song is that? <laughs> sorry, it was a text from a a hamburger Mary's event. Oh my gosh. Um. Apparently. I didn't know that was a song. Apparently, you can win $100 in a wet undies contest. Are you going to do it? No. Weak. 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 <laughs> Weak. Hey, go show me how it's done. No. Okay. Just wet your underwear, and that's it. <laughs> Get on your just pants, you're done. Just push yourself, just yeah. Just dip in the pool. Just pee yourself. Ew. Ever pee uh, on yourself? Um, I'm not answering nor denying. That's oh, it. you didn't weed yourself? Oh, that's sad. <laughs> okay, um, I guess it's my turn. Uh, let me pull up the clock really quick. OMG. Pulled up the clock. Okay, um... Okay, I'm gonna pick different songs for different games. Uh, Xenoblade Chronicles, like, half the soundtrack is fucking amazing. Took my but, answer. Uh, but specifically, the title theme... Gowerplane, and, uh, and there, there was another, oh, um, the, the boss theme, not the boss theme, but the theme when you're fighting a stronger enemy. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Um, also, the Zelda Twilight Princess intro, when he's, he's, uh, riding down with, uh, Epona. It's fucking amazing. Uh, ah. Uh, I heard only a little bit of it, but damn, Super Mario Galaxy, if it's Super Mario Galaxy, that game sounds like it has a fucking amazing soundtrack. Oh yeah, I forgot about that one. Um, Paper Tupi Mario. Who? Uh, Tupi loves that. Oh yeah, he does. Stop um, fucking about it. <laughs> we, shut up. If we keep, we keep mentioning Tupi, everybody's gonna wonder who he is. Freaking shut up about it. <laughs> um, Paper Mario. For the 64, the theme, uh, two themes that connect, like, they, they play almost right after each uh, each other. The theme when you're going up Star uh, Star Hill, when the castle gets uh, taken away, 
and then the stars are the shooting stars are shooting in the background. Fucking love that theme. And then the theme when you go to Star World, like that's a theme that you would like put you to sleep like a baby, and you'd have a smile on your face. Oh. Um. And then also, Pikmin, the, like the first level of Pikmin, first level of Pikmin has a. I love that soundtrack. So adorable. Um. Splatoon, the. Oh my know, gosh! How did I forget about that one? I don't know. I don't know when they played in Splatoon, but I bought a 3DS theme, and the song that it plays, on the 3DS theme. And uh, that's the Splatfest song. Splatfest? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um. That's when Kelly and Marie dance for you and sing in front of you. I want to see that. <laughs> it's fun. Also the um the uh the 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 the, 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 the give me give me a minute give me a minute I lost it I lost it oh no I lost it fuck I just had it right now okay um I can basically say my favorite soundtrack is from Super Smash Bros cuz Super Smash Bros has everything <laughs> but um yeah that that pretty much that pretty much uh Puts a good amount of my Nintendo songs right there. Oh, that's good. Yeah. <sighs> Nintendo, you don't get the credit you deserve. You don't. It happens. Yeah. It's like. Oh, another one I want to add: Mario Kart. Mario oh, which Kart one? All the tracks. All the tracks. Yeah. Okay. I forgot about that one. Mario Kart Eight. That's the one on the Wii U, right? Yeah. All right. Speaking of Mario Kart, you all should check out our Mario Party vid. Seriously, that vid is a lot of fun. I'm not just saying it just to get the views. Like I like that video. Freaking self-promotion. <laughs> self-promotion. But yeah, oh check out God. that video. Um, I guess that sums it up. So yeah, any last ones? Any last ones? I think that's it for me. Okay. Wait, so cool. talking about the music? Hmm? Yeah, they are. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was like naming tracks up and down, up and down. Oh, I remember now. Um, last one, last one, I swear. Um, oh the, my in- gosh. the intro to Pokemon Sapphire, Ruby, and Emerald. Oh, that one's good. I love that intro, and it's so damn short. It's like it's like only like twenty to thirty seconds long, and then they got the, they put the classic uh, Pokemon battle theme at the end. But yeah, I don't even like play that game, but I love that intro. Okay, now moving on to video games. What's in the video game world? I need a moment to refresh my head because I know there's stuff, but Fallout. it's been a while. Go nuts. So they just, uh, but does it just show us the character <laughs> system for Fallout 4? And this has caused quite an outcry among the Fallout community. Outcry? Yeah, skills no longer exist. What? Yeah. Instead, what they have is um, every time you level up, you uh, you pick a perk, and that perk gives you something that's equivalent to a skill, and a perk, put together. So when oh. you le- so imagine intense training at every level. What? So, so you, so but, um, we have to choose like the perk like like this level. I want to put a one point in one of my special attributes, right? And you can do that. But instead, uh, but instead, you uh, as a as a to counter this, you you start with like much, much, much less skill points. I mean, well, I mean not skill points, um, uh, stat points. Like so, it was like a, I think it's only like twenty or something. You start with you start with like a low number. But they uh, there's like so many new perks now. There's like two hundred. There's um, uh, what's seven? There's like around two hundred and fifty perks now. So there's like a lot of perks now, and it's an interesting system. Um, and I want to try it out. I'm not gonna like give judgment on it yet. And it's uh, I I think it might be better than the new system that they have right now. But I'm not gonna launch launch, launch judgment on that yet. Don't worry, Mardo. Fallout PMP is not gonna change because skills oh. are good. I'm not gonna okay. change skills for PMP because it does it, it makes sense in the video game, but it doesn't make sense in uh. Well, it does, it, I could make it work, but I'm not gonna make it work. In, okay. Uh, so yeah. 
So it's an interesting system. I want to try it out and I'm excited. And frankly, I have no ill will against Bethesda for doing this. It's not dumbing down. There's just as much complexity, if not more complexity, when you build your characters. Because, to be honest, skill points are boring, aren't they? Well, yeah. I don't think so. I, I like skill points, though. I like them. Yeah, I have no problem against yeah, them. Yeah, but, I mean, there's a, there's a chance that the new system will be more efficient and more effective. We'll see how it goes. I want, I'm like, I'm not, oh, yeah. I don't want to judge it completely right now. I just want to see how it plays out. Okay. Also, they um, they got rid of um, um, DLC exclusive for the consoles, so it means that everyone get the DLC at the same time. Oh, sweet! Nice. Uh, oh, it's so annoying. Like, it, w it wasn't annoying when I was when I had an Xbox, right? Because Microsoft would always buy out the fucking DLC. I was like, okay with that. But I'm, I play PC now, and I'm gonna get Fallout for the PC. I would like to get a DLC when it comes out. Yeah. But nice though. Then there's the Rainbow Six Siege um, beta. That's I think it's in closed beta right now. Oh man! And there's the Star Wars Battlefront um, beta that's going to be open in October eighth. It's going to be open for every console besides the Wii U. <laughs> uh, typical. Typical, yeah. I feel sorry for for the Wii U not getting to get all these games. The NX but, better get that third party support. Yeah. And that's about it in the PC world of games. But I think um, in the UK, um, you know, do you guys know the Steam refund system? Yeah. That like mm, up to two hours, up to two hours, you can refund your game. Yeah. In the UK, there's a law that might force Steam to extend it to thirty days. In the UK? Yeah. Oh wow. But obviously, there's like restriction to it, so they won't be as like, abused. Yeah, but oh wow, thirty days—that's a long time just for a game, though. Then again, two hours is really short for a game. Uh, hmm. Yep. And um, Battlefield Four is still getting new contact even after three years of being released. Wow, really? We yeah, Battlefield Damn. Four. Oh. They still—they're still releasing contact, free contact. To say at the most, and even if you if you don't have Battlefield pre Premium, you can still get the free DLCs. And then there's the uh, Divinity Original Sins 2, which reached two million in their Kickstarter, which I know um, Edgar liked, right? I'm the sorry, original what's one up? that you Divinity Original Sin 2. We've oh. seen their Kickstarter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Divinity, the original Sin 1, is actually a pretty good game. I haven't finished playing it, I just haven't gotten around to it. But it's a well-designed game with a lot of interesting game mechanics. Yep. And last uh, and not least is this Deus Ex Mankind um, Divided. They got rid of their pre-order pre scheme. Wait, what do you mean pre-order scheme? You know how, like, um, they have a where everyone, I'm not really sure, but if everyone were to pre-order in a certain amount, like, I need 10 people to pre-order so you can get a tier 1, 20 people to pre-order to get a tier 2 prize, mm -hmm. and so on and so on. They got rid of that. Uh, so now everybody gets the, the best one? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, okay. Didn't do my research. How about the uh, Humble Bundles releasing a monthly subscription? Oh yeah, I remember seeing that. Uh, I forgot what it's called, but uh, yeah. but yeah, I remember seeing it. Uh, okay, I so mean, I don't, I don't do much Humble Bundle. If I see something I like, then I use it, but I usually don't. <laughs> yep, uh, that's. Yep, uh, that's all I had. Hmm. Okay. Um, and other things. Um, the uh. Have the name for the first episode for the Minecraft story. Oh yeah, that's out right now. They're not out, but they're the. It's a uh, plan. It's com coming out it's this coming month, out. right? Yeah. Uh, I think it's actually coming out really, really soon. Like really, really soon. October thirteenth. October thirteenth. Huh. Yep. Uh, it's Telltale Game Game Series. So I think if you buy the buy right now, you get the whole the whole series. 
Really? It's tw- it's right now it's ten percent off the uh, twenty five dollars. Yep, yeah, it's gonna be a part series. If you buy buy it right now, you can get the whole five chapter, the four, five episode. Yeah, and the first chapter is gonna, uh, I guess, introduce the four. I don't want to say guardians, but the four characters, protagonists. Not they're not the protagonists. They're like the guys that started the things, started things off. Initial. Yeah, there you go. Mm-hmm. The founders. There you go. The founders. <laughs> Thank you. So they're gonna start that off uh, first story, and then we're gonna. Uh, I guess the second story is gonna go more into the actual main character. Oh yeah, forgot. Uh, one last bit of news of the Assassin's Creed. Um, uh, they are going to include a mark- microtransaction to For... Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Oh yeah! Oh my gosh! I heard about that. Why? Why do, are they doing this? Because money is nice. I like money. Yeah, but... Is it gonna you, work? You thought that Ubisoft would learn this lesson, but it looked like they have it. Why are they doing this? Because money is nice. Money like is money. nice. I like having it, I like touching it, I like spending it. I love spending it. Spending but money need, is one of the best things in the world. But you need people to spend money to get money, though. I like money. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, yeah, I, I see your point. It's just like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if this is going to be a good idea. It could kill the whole damn thing. I mean, when they, the Sesame Street was coming out, it was just like a fresh breath of air. Now they're just milking it right now. Yeah. And <laughs> expecting that uh, Syndicate well, would like do anything good with it? At least have to be the game that Ubisoft learned their lesson. Yeah. I don't give a damn about Assassin's Creed anymore. I mean, I stopped playing that to three. Wait, was that with the um, it was Native like, American? Yeah. It just seems so like it's their milky franchise, and I don't know. I just, uh, I just don't feel the need to play it. The story isn't compelling anymore, and I'm not interested at all. It had a, it had a good start, but then like just from there. It just went weird. Do we have any more gaming news? Uh, um, Street Fighter Five, two character, uh, one character reveal, one character leak, slash reveal. Um, Zangief has been confirmed to come out Street Fighter Five. That's pretty cool because Zangief is, of course, one of the original eight, and um, original twelve actually, and um. It kind of seemed like they were going to ditch him in this game, but no, he's coming out. Well, I, I expected them to come back. You did? Yeah. I didn't because the character... Okay, like, for the for the first 16 characters they're going to have, not the DLC characters later on, for the first 16 characters, I was kind of thinking he wasn't going to come out because they were running out of room. I was like, huh, maybe they're actually not going to put him. I wasn't expecting too many classics at this point. But, um, he made it. And, hey, that's good for Zongi fans. I wonder... Okay, yeah. Uh, never mind. And uh, also, I'm looking right now. They leaked uh, Lara. Lara is a Brazilian jiu-jitsu fighter. She's going to be one of the four new characters for Street Fighter V. She looks pretty damn cool. Her moves... Uh, looks like she's going to be very... Uh, well, you know, I can't really tell much from the pictures, but... She's very sexy. The Okay. Very... She's quite busty. They're, aren't um, they all busty? Not all of them. Chun Li's not really. Well, I don't know. Actually, maybe. Eh, I don't know. Chun-Li, is Chun Li busty? She got really legs. She, she has legs. I wouldn't say she's busty though. There, she's Sakura's. Big, so. Sakura's not busty. But does she have a butt? No, I don't think so. Oh, then, Do, okay. Yeah. <laughs> then she's the normal. Would you like one. to consult an expert? <laughs> okay, yeah, uh, the pictures, uh, she's got a grapple. I'm not gonna look at the pictures. <laughs> um, What's she, her name again? Lara. Oh, we got Lara. an expert on the scene. Uh, I think she has a projectile move, because it looks like, it looks like she's shooting, like, some kind of energy at, uh, Ryu. But Street Fighter, because he's I'm assuming, I'm assuming it's like a forward jump kick kind of move. Uh, grapple. 
lightning is coming from the sky, I think. I'm not exaggerating. I think lightning's coming from the sky. That or it might just be some energy she's making. And uh, another grapple. And then just a smack to the face. And she's giving us a wink. And, yeah, that's all I can tell from the pictures. I don't really know what she's... I don't I don't really know jujitsu. you know? I don't know what kind of, like... If it's, like, a more of a grabbing style, more of an attack style. I don't really know jujitsu. I don't know martial arts, period. So I can't really say what she's going to be like. But I actually think she looks really cool so far. I just I want a video. And I wonder who's going to voice her. Yeah, 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10? Yeah. In but, looks department or in everything department? <laughs> yeah, looks. Okay. It's not bad. I like far. her hair. I like her hair. Her hair is really cool. All um, right, let's look what you guys are talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious. Oh, I'm looking at the comments now. Ah, boobs. My weakness. Love it. Wait, there's it, boobs? No, this person commented on that. Per- commented that. Oh, Laura. I think it said Laura. No, Laura. Laura, Laura. I don't know what I said. Dang, those puppies look like they might pop out. (laughs) Really? (laughs) Sorry, reading the comments. Okay, uh, other gaming news. Um, uh, Oh, uh, Walking Dead is getting another game. A good game? I think so, actually. It looks really interesting. Um, I should look at the clock real quick. But, um... But, uh, it's getting, uh, okay. I don't remember. They, these people, they were like an indie team. And they were popular for a game called, let me type it up real quick, because I actually want to get the name of it. The New Walking Dead game. Uh, hurry, hurry, hurry. Search, 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 search. It's 8 bit. It's like 8 bit style. Like one of those cool, classic looking indie games. And, uh,. Uh, excuse me. It's made by a studio called Starbreeze Studios. Um, it's gonna be mobile, and uh, the cool thing about it is, it's gonna be like this classic old-looking game. Um, but it's going to cover, I think, the entire comic book story from the beginning to where we're at now. And you can play as all the characters, and you get a shit ton of zombies chasing you. And it gets scary. I actually think it looks cool. Um, aside from that, what else am I looking at? We're just really looking forward to the holiday releases of games, right? I I think a lot of people are. I don't think I am. Wait, never mind, I am. Yeah, okay, yeah. I guess What's there? So- I, I guess another thing I could add to the game thing, uh, uh, they finished the. Uh, I think today's the last day or yesterday was the uh, last day for the ballot for Smash Brothers. Oh really? Yeah. And uh, the someone hacked the new update and it looks like there's three slots available for a character. Wait, what do you mean hacked it? Let's just open it up and read the source file. You mean data Wait. mining? That's called data mining. Well, whatever they did, they find something. Wait, uh, so they're going to... They're going to put three characters? Yeah, from the nope. ballot. It ends tomorrow. Well, hmm. whatever. They, they're going to find... three. Char- they're going to add three characters to the ballot and more stages. What were that- these, Larry? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. For for those of you who doesn't don't really know, it was the first attempt for having a erotic game on the first generation of the Xbox One and PS two. Oh, that guy. No, and yeah. they had some no, they had some older ones too. Like yep. older, older ones like We're what? talking about like um like character with like uh, triangle boobs. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Good I love times. triangle boobs. You do? No. Oh, okay. I was gonna I, say. I believe you. That you okay. do. Um. All right. Uh. I guess that's it on the video game news. Nope. Let, more. My turn but, now. Oh, what is it? So apparently, I found out that the new Tomb Raider game isn't coming to PC or Xbox 
or was it PC and PS4? I don't remember. Until um, like later, late until next year. Oh, is it delayed? Yeah, it, like it's no, no. It, I think it's delayed. Uh, let me check. I think it's uh, the PS4 that gets it first. They get it for like a couple months. That's uh, still a long time. Yeah. Oh, what's it called? Tomb Raider. Rise of the Tomb Raider. There you go. Uh, the Tomb Raider. I mean. Isn't Tomb Raider more of a PlayStation exclusive? No. But it recently came to um, Xbox. There you go. Okay, it's it's scheduled for Xbox and Xbox One for November 2015, and then the rest of us we don't get it. Oh, PC doesn't get it until early 2016, and PS4 doesn't get it until late 2016. Oh dang! Yeah. <laughs> what yeah. the heck? Yeah. That's wow. That's, that's dumb. I was so excited about playing that game, and then I found I, and then I find this out. I'm like, oh, you guys are assholes. Oh. It's because, yeah, it's annoying. <sighs> so, yeah, All that's right. it. That's it for gaming news? That's it for gaming news. All right, let's go to the discussion. All right, um, this one should be fun. I think, I think Human Tsunami will really like this one. Um, okay, if y'all made a game. Y'all? Y'all. Okay. As in y'all three. Y'all, okay. Um, how would you do it? Big budget, small budget, genre, type, graphics. I'm talking the whole shebang a bang. How would you guys do it? Like a re like if you want to. You guys are a developing a game. Okay. How would I do it? Yeah. So whoever wants to start, go. Hmm, I need to think a bit about this. I should have told you all beforehand. Yeah, you should have. But, um, no lie, I did kind of think of it last minute. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, okay, I guess I'll start start the ball rolling. Alright, so, okay, what were you thinking? Uh, budget? Uh, wait, what? Pretty much everything. Like, oh, everything. How, okay. Yeah, how so, would you do it? Would it be a small, like, indie okay. kind of title? A huge uh, Destiny title? FPS? Would you have uh, realistic looking graphics, live action graphics, uh, cell shaded? What are we looking at? Okay, so uh, if I was uh, developing a game, first I'll get money, so I have to go get some loans and stuff, ask some people for money. <laughs> like you have infinite money. Oh, I have infinite money. Okay. Yeah, you can do it however you want. <laughs> All right, I thought I'd start off the like the real bottom. Okay, so I have infinite money. I would make the Matrix. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Um, dang. So, so it has to be in the. So it's just a game, right? Just a game. Yeah, you're making okay. a video game. I'm making a video game. So, okay, I get infinite money. Uh, give half that money to charity, and then the other half, I'm gonna make the <laughs> game. <laughs> okay. Think. I don't know, okay. It's gonna be a cell phone game, because I get a lot of money. I'll make Angry Birds too. <laughs> oh no, Flappy Bird cross Angry Birds. There oh you go. God, there's such a. So you fling him and then you gotta flap. What what what, what day are you um? Are you, what day would it come out? Like um, an actual date. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> On October 3, 2015, the world ended. <laughs> no doctors didn't go to work. Teachers didn't go to school. Jesus, just like the fappening. Um, the president. <laughs> Did not leave his bed, and the world ended because of angry Flappy Bird. <laughs> the angry Flappy Bird, because he's angry. Because angry was playing the fucking game instead of doing the job. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone had a common enemy. Enemy. It's called Flappy Angry Birds. Oh my gosh! <laughs> there goes World War Three in a nutshell. Yeah, everyone's going to war with you, Mar. Yes. <laughs> Bring it! You could only open the door to my super secure panic room by passing the game 20 times! <laughs> Dang. Okay. And when you pass the game, it just trolls you at the end like, oh, whatever. You didn't win. The game continues on. Hard level. Forever. That's my game. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. I Plus, won't buy it. 
Plus, uh, DLC is free. Oh, there's th there's that at least. <laughs> it's free, so you don't have to pay anything. Are you are you going to release retail versions on all consoles that uh, cost actual hit, money later on? Once it hit a million downloads, then yeah. Uh, I'm gonna start uh, selling off to uh, different uh, types. Okay. Are you gonna make a cartoon? Oh uh, yeah, uh, and then eventually I'm gonna work on a movie. Okay, gotcha. And then a Telltale game, right? Oh uh, yeah. Then yeah, you gotta have PewDiePie play it. Yeah. You gotta okay. have that. All right, somebody hurry up and tell me their plan before I kill Mar 100. <laughs> you don't like my plan? No. Here. Come on, uh, Master okay, okay. and Tsunami. What do you guys? I do? I will pick. I would. I would make a point and click game. <laughs> I love it already. <laughs> Doing a mystery solving where you get you're on this train, and you need to find the the murderer. Who's on the train with other people, and you're a, de a detective? <gasps> there you go. I would spend all my infinite money on that. Literally thousands and millions of hours of gameplay, of pointing and clicking. <laughs> oh man, that sounds wonderful. You're all geniuses. You're all freaking geniuses. Human tsunami, what do you got? Okay, are you gonna say anything? Because I'm gonna take the rest of the time. Really? Yeah, I, I, I've, I've been developing the game. This game has been developing in my head for five years. Come on now. <sighs> Get on my right. level. Any hey. chance? Any chance? Get on could... my level. I've just made it up right now. <laughs> <laughs> Any chance you could kind of shorten it to give me at least some time? Okay, well, it's not my fault if you don't say anything. <laughs> you got the warning. <sighs> okay. All right, all right. Go. So first, go. it's going to be, at the very least, a, thr a trilogy. No, not a trilogy. It's going to be a three-part trilogy. No. Are you going to try to do Mass three... Effect on No, right. shut up. It's going to be three trilogies <laughs> spread out across three parts. Well, no, no. It's going to be a three-part series, and each part's going to have individual games if I don't fit it all into one game, because it's going to be that long. And like the mm -hmm. theme, and it's going to be... Uh, hmm. I didn't think of the genre, because I was thinking about the story. But it was going to be a... Um, uh, it's a game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now for, for I real. love it. For for real though, for real. Pretty much, it's it's, it's just um, I haven't chosen drama because it can, it can fit in any genre. Well, not any genre, but it might be action, action oriented. And it's gonna have politics. It's gonna have political intrigue. It's gonna have violence. It's gonna have wars. And it's gonna be called humanity. <laughs> You're such a dreamer. <laughs> and, it's gonna be a story. It. and guess what the story is gonna be about? What? I asked the question here, not you. Come on. Um. Regular people's lives. It's gonna be a bit called about humanity. Okay, come on. It's, in the title. it's just gonna be about people and stuff that happens. Pretty much. Uh, I don't want to spoil the story, but it's gonna be a really <laughs> complex game. It's gonna have Are you actually it. gonna develop this game at some point in your life? I'm either gonna write a book about it, or I'm gonna develop it. Hey, maybe we could like uh cross promote. Maybe, yeah. My angry flappy bird. No. No. You don't like my idea. No. no. <laughs> maybe your maybe the angry flappy bird game could be a mini game in the game. It's not gonna be a mini game in the game. I'm gonna sneak uh, it in. <laughs> you're gonna cut it in. No, because <laughs> no, because uh, because right before the lab starts, you're gonna be mysteriously missing. What? Nothing. I'm gonna be missing. <laughs> no. No, <laughs> mysteriously <laughs> missing. <laughs> no, but um, but yeah, it's um. I do wish to, to make the game. It's, it's interesting. I, I think so. But we all think that. You're next, Fernando. Okay, um... Oh, oh, oh I forgot. <laughs> the most realistic graphics ever. Because we need to get all the people's facial expressions down to a level. Mm -hmm. But will it run Minecraft? You're next. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um... Mine would be an action-adventure title. Because I love action-adventure titles. Um, Bayonetta, DMC, you name it. Um, it'd have RPG elements, it'd have a level up system, it'd have a skill system where you have, you gain skills, um, and you can level them up and they just become more powerful and more badass. The protagonist would be a female. Um, your best friend or, like, main supporting character would be transgendered. Um, 
the story would okay. The characters will not be, in my opinion, stupid. Uh, I think there won't be a villain per se. Um, I this think sounds like it's gonna be a high school drama or something like that, like the grassy. Is it gonna be think, in high school? No, it's not. They're gonna be in their twenties. Um, yeah, the main girl is gonna be a novelist. And no, take it back. I take that part back. Okay, um, the, the the villain will be a sort of force of nature, not a person, per se. I yeah. Um, like, figuratively or literally? Um, both. Yeah, <laughs> both. Yeah, actually, both. Can't she travel through time? Uh, no, she can't travel through time. Oh, we have not been in the game, sorry. Uh, <laughs> um... <laughs> There's going to be... Robots? There, you're going to get different weapons throughout the game. Uh, I'm gonna. It's going to be 20 to 30 hours long. And uh, there's going to be plenty to do. Not like a shit ton, not like 80 hours I'm talking, but there's going to be plenty to do outside of the main story. There's going to be a like city, and you can run around in it and do all this other crazy shit. Not a city, like a uh, townish kind of like a mix of like civilization and nature uh like like a xenoblade fantasy rpg kind of area um it's um the main girls the the character is going to start off with a scythe okay uh this game will have the production value of uh let's say uh uh, middle of its time PlayStation 3 game. There you go. What is that, like a two, two to six million budget? I don't know. Um, Metal Gear Solid 4 was like 40 million dollars, I think. So, okay, let me take that back. Like 20 million dollars, I think. Yeah, 10 to 20 million dollar budget. Yeah, like that. Okay. Um. Dang, you're, you're really actually thinking, thinking of this. And, um. I mean. I I understand that Edgar thought of it because he's thought of it for like for five years, but you're just <laughs> thinking as you go. Yeah, and um, the graphics are going to be like uh, I don't know what it was called, but it was like it was like a the the if you ever seen a Gravity Rush, it'd be like that. It was like a mix of like uh, cell shaded and kind of like an animation looking look. Um, and. I think that's all I got for now. Action adventure, girls the protagonist versus a force of nature, and uh, slightly philosophical. And was apparently transgender. Their friend is yeah transgendered, and um, oh, and uh, lots of crafty fun dialogue, like a Tarantino or Greg Wiseman show. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Yeah, I think that I think that that that's there for now. <laughs> I got to think about it a little more. I I bet I get more money than you. <laughs> <laughs> you think you could beat me? Yeah, I believe you. <laughs> yeah. Well, we your game are well, we're really having microtransaction. Nah, it's all free. Oh yeah, and um just have to buy the game for There will be there will be 3 DLC packs. Come on, pull an EA. There's no, 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 no. There's only going to be three. <laughs> there's only going to be three DLC packs, and the DLC packs, at the very least, are going to have one new weapon, like, thir- like two big missions, like three little side quests, um, a costume, and uh, maybe raise the level cap a little. No, no, no. Take that back. Never mind. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That'll do. It. Like a few side quests, two big missions. And uh, a new weapon and a costume. Yeah. You know what? I'll take that back. Don't, do, don't pull on the A. Pull on Ubisoft with the SS Security Syndicate. Or I could just release the game when it's not even finished develop- in development. Oh my gosh. And have eyeballs sticking out of characters. Or or have, it, have a really good looking trailer, but when the actual game comes out, it looks bad. Watch dog. Yeah. 
or have a really good trailer, wait 10 years like The Last Guardian, then release a new another trailer. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, and in the beginning of the game, it's going to start off with her. She just beat the shit out of it. Oh, we didn't mind. No. <laughs> she, she's, she's in an alley, and she's walking Six. out. And she's got, like, blood on her hand. Ooh. Oh my gosh, the, she's on her period. And then the camera, the camera, like, uh, moves towards the alley, and there's just a guy, and he's all bloodied up, and you don't even know if he's dead or not. Damn. After sex? And you never find out why. Hardcore sex. <laughs> You never find out why. I will not com I will not confirm it via the internet or in a blog or Hardcore anything. Hardcore fisting. I will never confirm it. The fans will theorize who that guy was, and then it's just going to become this big ordeal, like a five minutes big orgy. No. Jesus Christ, what porn do you watch? <laughs> no. It's just going to become a thing. It's like It's like... Who was that guy? And then people are going to be like, that guy wasn't real. It was just a symbol of what she's going through. In truth, that is her battling herself and all this other bullshit. Oh my okay. god. Okay, I'm done. Well, that's actually a hobo who stole her wallet. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. I, lo I, I love your game, Mar100. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cash cow. It's okay, though. He, um... Even though he made a cash cow, he, um, uh, uh, <clears throat> he gets out of balance because he donated half of his budget over to charity. Yeah. People like no, me. No, it doesn't. He fucking People started like World me. War he fucking started World War Three. No. People like me. You started World War Three though. You're going to need that money to rebuild civilization. <laughs> or to fix the towns that get destroyed in the battle, anyway. Oh, yeah. Um, alright, <coughs> well, uh... Any, any, okay, at this, alright, so at this point, is there anything else you guys want to add? Any uh, last minute news you thought of or saw, or do you want to add any more fun ideas towards your game development? Um, uh, you get to, uh, pick different costumes for your bird. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're definitely pulling a for, right like, now. because there's a leveling up system, and like, yeah. And also, uh, you get to pick the cool music in the background, and um, your birds talk to you back. Why it makes you, you feel me? connected to them. You're, 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 you're killing me. <laughs> you're killing me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want. I don't want me to my face to hit the pipe. <laughs> <laughs> can oh, I put? Man. Can I put a schoolgirl outfit on one of the birds? Yeah, that's um, that's like a, a level five unlock. Oh, it's not DLC. No. Oh, no, damn, no it great. is. You need to be level 5 and then you have to pay 20 bucks. Oh, I thought it was going to be 3 bucks. Never mind. For a skirt. <laughs> For a skirt. But, right. but, 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 when you put it on, um, you get chased by a whole bunch of uh, pedophile birds. And they block the hits in the pipe for you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I like it. Um, everybody in the description below, find our Kickstarter pages, pages for, um... Angry Birds meets Flappy Bird, a uh, girl who kills man in alley for some unknown reason, action-adventure platformer. Um, uh, we don't even know the genre of this game yet, and... Uh, it's a good game. Infinite what, what, point and click. Infinite point and click. <laughs> yep. Infinite point and click. <laughs> Find our Kickstarters below. Please donate. We're all looking for uh, different... Different amounts of money, but in the end, as long as you support us, you will never get your game. And we will run off with your money. I love it. Let's start. <laughs> Let's do it. I have, I have a good feeling about my game. I have a good feeling about your game. Oh my gosh. Okay, but yeah, so you guys got any last minute news? Um, or anything you guys want to um, talk about that's going to come up or whatever, the usual, you know. Do you have any Mass Effect um, theme, theme park? Theme park? Art? Yeah. Really? Where? Uh, uh, in San Francisco Bay Area. Oh, wow. That's, that's cool. It's the future. Video game themed rides. Not movie rides. Video game themed rides. Something called a 4D holographic experience. But, I don't know how, what. But what about 8D? 
What if I want to go? What if I want to go beyond four D? You only need that one D. <laughs> <laughs> no, one D's boring. You just need the D. I don't need no D. D sucks. You want an A? Um, I want a C. Wait, what's a C? Yeah, I think uh, that's the end of our podcast then. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone. Thanks for listening. There's uh, there's this Kickstarter. It's um, you want? Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you something. You about. made it? No, 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 no. I <laughs> promise. I promise I didn't make it. I promise. Wow, you really been it. thinking about this for five years. I mean, I did you really make our Kickstarter right now? Look at it. Wait. Let let's let's put our reactions in this podcast before we officially end it. Okay. <laughs> What's this? What the heck? That's stupid. Wow. No, but look at the pledgers, the pl- the backers, and how much they pledged. One. Oh, uh, okay. Wow. <laughs> uh, we're off to a good start. My thing, my thing is taking a while to open. Open up. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> oh Rob- no! Please don't. I'm gonna throw up. Cat. Oh wow. Um. Yeah. Uh, thank you for listening. I'm your host, Fed Three by Three. With me in today's podcast is Human Tsunami. Oh hi. <laughs> Mouse rabies. I think he's dead. Mouse rabies. Oh bye bye. <laughs> Mar 100. So uh, support my Kickstarter for uh, Angry Flappy Bird. Uh, One dollar will get you the game for free. Uh, five dollars will get one dollar will get you the game for free. Uh, five dollars will get you all the costumes unlocked at the beginning. Ten dollars will get you the bonus soundtrack that comes along with it. A uh, hundred bucks, just um, you just gave me a hundred bucks. That's okay. <laughs> okay. All right, everybody, and remember, if you don't support us, you ain't gonna get that season pass from all of our games. <laughs> season see pass. See you. See you in the next podcast. Oh wow. Uh...